when one is concerned with oneself, with one's problems, with one's relationships, with one's status in society, and so on, this concern about with oneself is a very small affair, limited affair. Right? Do we actually see this? Or is it just an idea to be pursued, inquired into, and then come to a conclusion and accept that conclusion and say, I am that? Or do we see immediately, instantly, that all of the self centered activity is very, very limited? Whether it can be in the name of religion, in the name of peace, in the name of leading a good life, and so on, this self centered activity is always limited, and therefore the cause of conflict. Do we? actually realize that? Or is it merely an idea? Do we see the difference between the actuality and the idea? If one pursues the idea, then you are following some kind of illusions. But if one actually realizes the self centered, egotistic activity is very, very, very small and separated. And therefore, the basic co- cause of conflict is the self. I wonder how many of us hear this and ask. So we are asking much deeper question, which is the self, can the self, the me, the ego, all this self-centered activity, which is the movement of memory, can that self end? Not by discipline, by control, by suppression, or identification with something greater, which is still on the movement of the Self. You might ask then, how can, if the Self ends, what place have I is there for me in society? What shall I do? Right? Right, sir? First end it and then find out. <laughs> Not the other way round. <coughs> this is a very, very serious question. Nobody can tell you in the world or beyond the world. Perhaps most of us try to get instructions beyond the world. Nobody on earth can tell you how to end it. But if one observes all these facts, without any reactions. I observe the fact that I am hurt psychologically, because my daughter, my son, my father has done something which hurts me. 
if I can observe that hurt without a single resistance, without any action that I should not be hurt or keep the hurt, most people do, all through their life they carry the hurt, but to observe this hurt, a psychological wound, without any reaction to it. Then one sees that hurts disappear altogether. Thank you.